All right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there on YouTube and everyone live here with us on Twitch. I see close to 200 people watching a freaking timer rundown. You guys are awesome. We have returned with another banger event. We might see some ugly Mortal Kombat tonight, but of course, we made up for it with that beautiful face here next to me, Miss Seeks on the oh. mic. Miss Seeks, come on. That, that was a good hurt. one. Miss Seeks, that come one on. hurt. <laughs> How are we feeling? I'm feeling good. I saw somebody in the chat saying, like, I'm sure me Seeks is just chilling there jamming. I gotta tell you guys, I think Rips can see my scene before you guys can. Oh, yes. I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm tearing up my heart <laughs> when I'm with you. I am jamming. Hope you guys are having a good one. Hope it's going well. I'm always so sad that the YouTube community, they cannot hear our live music, you know? Sometimes, you know, know. A, little, a little bit of Backstreet Boys, a little bit of NSYNC. I think that is the perfect music for competitive MK1, baby. But let's talk about business. Chat, we are here for a reason. Because, first of all, we are making very, very big steps towards our season finale ranking is looking hella close and today we have some blockbuster matches in the pipeline for all the mk fans out there i see so many people in the chat chilling with us robo tekken master so many more let's take a look at the lineup let's talk about it miss X, because i have a little surprise for you in match number one and you already yeah. know who it is yeah i noticed it i noticed it i noticed <laughs> a little i noticed I noticed a certain name that I haven't been able to sleep the same since. I've been watching a lot of Mortal Kombat and I gotta be honest, I can't watch Baraka anymore, which sucks. He's a pretty good character. <laughs> but Oh my the thing god, is, but I'm never ready. Pyrex, in one of my personal favorites, you know, in the arena, because whenever this dude unleashes his microphone. <laughs> then, <laughs> I don't know. Hell breaks loose. Let's see how Starks is gonna handle the pressure. Because, you know, most of the time there's pressure in terms of if you lose, you don't get any points. But, Masix, when you lose versus Pyrex, you know what happens, right? Mm -hmm. That dude is gonna yeah. enable that mic and then shit is gonna go crazy in match <laughs> number one. Can't wait for it. Two very strong players, though. Gonna be a close one. In my opinion, game five potential. But we yeah. have another Arena OG returning chat. And yes, you see that right. His gameplay is almost heaven. 62 cent returns to the arena finally after a long, long time. A lot of people asked, man, Rip, where is 62 cent? And I didn't have the right answer to it. So I'm very, very happy that I see him today back on the main card versus another CIS player, Mercurich, that young smoke god. Gonna bless us with a lot of cancels, most likely, Miss Seeks. Can't wait for it. We have Jack Orlando for all the general show fans, me included, versus a debut fight. In the arena for the first time, Deft Hat, strong Kitana for all the Edenian fans out there. Ms. X, do you like Kitana gameplay? Uh, I mean, I like Kitana gameplay in this game because I actually think she has some sauce, especially when it comes to Chameleon. I'm kind of hoping, to be honest, out of all these players, that we get to see a Janet. Like, it's not even a main that I want to see. I want to see a Janet. Okay. Crazy. Because I was watching see. Rothor play Janet, I think, yesterday. Yes. Janet Kwan. And it was, it was disgusting. I think right now, Rotha might be the most innovative Janet player we have, or I have seen so far. I don't even know what's going on in the chat here. Let me point that out later. Let me finish the lineup first. So sad versus Gosh. Nuji. Another banger match. Nuji playing out of his mind lately. In the last encounter here in our league versus video games, yo, managed to squeeze out that win in a game five. Was an absolute blast of a match today versus So Sad. Giris slash General Shao, what character is it gonna be? I don't know, Mystics. We're gonna find out later. And then, of course, another PC leak set. Aunt Kratos, he is back once again, back to back on stream. Today versus his very, very good friend Maxiel, who is known for the super unique Kenshi combinations. I love to get the days into when it. I could serve the Empire. Turn down my volume yes, so that I don't <laughs> get my uh, ears more. blown out. <laughs> No, right, just the one. silent soloist in the chat. That is not allowed here. We haven't even started yet. And this man is dropping a bomb on us. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted, my friend. Oh my god, just like Baraka dropped that overhead right onto Lee Mei's skull. She wasn't ready for it. Gonna get grabbed. 
after we don't wake up here. Barack was some of the best meaties too, just because he gets those active frames and is able to get like, if he does the forward three, he's able to get a quick armor breaker if he times it right. Just a lot of options on wake up for him. I'm still not sure what I'm thinking about this particular matchup here. A matchup we don't see often. I mean, still to this day, it's Lee Mei, not a character we see that much in competitive play. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard for me to say, again, also what this matchup would be, just because I feel like, I don't know, Lee Mei, like, Lee Mei, Janet Cage, I haven't even gotten to see that yet, you know? So, I, I, I'll, we'll have to see. Janet seems to be bringing a lot of, like, weaker characters to the forefront. Quan Janet is looking like a top five shell at the time, so we'll have to see how it adjusts. That Janet Cage can bring so much, too. Yes, it just takes so much execution. I think the players are still trying to find out all the sauce here with Janet, but you mentioned it. Both are showing us that this cameo could be the optimal cameo for a lot of different characters. Yeah, a lot of characters who can get stunned, like Sub-Zero with a freeze as well, can get a lot set up with Janet because they're able to do the recharge with her. Um, so I'm wondering if, like, during Lee May, some of her more animated fireballs, black back kicks, etc., you would also be able to extend Janet's timeout. But right now, Stark's looking very, very decent in the second round. Has to be careful because Pyrrhix now has access to that juicy fatal. Oh, good stop that second hit. She neutral duck doesn't get hit by the cheeky overhead and wins out one poke. We, we see that little Janet coming in there. Final round. Jenna able to get those charge jumps, extend some combos, get some launchers off of things that wouldn't have launchers before. Oh, stagger pressure. There is the throw. Sponsored by Pyrrhix. <laughs> Pyrrhix putting on the pressure here. Great tech by Starks right there. Oh my gosh. What a whiff punish though. Not far enough for the knee. And I know, Masix, that Starks is shaking right now because he knows what's going to happen if Pyrrhix wins this round. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. Starks is like, please, no, I can't lose this. I can't waste my <laughs> eardrums on this. I want to be able to hear. Oh, that whip punish. Ridiculous. Covered up by the nades, trying to come in for an overhead. Gets just to stand one confirmed, but decides to go with the throw. The thing about Janet Cage 2 that I feel like is so slept on is Janet Cage's throw is 140. It is, That's yes. That's so much. <laughs> Starks, the boy is fighting. One more opener could leave him in a very decent position. Wait a minute, can he convert? No, he can't. Nope. Are you trying to arm him out? Can he use nades to keep him safe? Flawless block mitigating the chip here. What's going to be the play? There's 14 seconds oh, left. Take this, take this, take this. Pyrrhix, don't do no. it. Pyrrhix, no. Pyrrhix. Pyrrhix, not in match number one. No Pyrrhix. Oh. Pyrrhix. No. Come on. <laughs> Mystics, what are we doing here with this dude? I don't <laughs> This is just unbelievable. Oh my god, this man. <laughs> the thing is, Mystics, just imagine you are playing in a $2,000 tournament and you are yeah. already pissed that you lost the round, right? But then yeah. on top, he, he goes on the mic and he sounds like that. No. Nah, here, here's no. the worst part. You go to an offline. <laughs> You're sitting next to this guy. <laughs> he, he wins the match and he goes in your ear. <laughs> okay, everyone in the chat with us. Drop a one in the chat if you think that Pyrrhix would do the same thing offline as well. <laughs> Come on, you guys know he would. You know it. You know he would. It's who he is as a person. I would literally kick him right off that chair, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> At the rips offline, he will be on the stage doing that. <laughs> no, do that to me and we're throwing hands in real life. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> but no, Starks. Oh, my gosh. What happened to both their health? Oh, drops it. That could be just in trip range. Gets caught. Oh, oh comes in with the copter. copter and gets her. Round two. 
the flawless block. It's gonna be a good trade in Stars' favor, I believe. That is a beautiful match so far in general. Both of them playing very, very solid. And it's crazy that we have more than 300 people already watching live here in match oh, number wow. one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Welcome to the arena. There is the shimmy. What's up, guys? Welcome. Wow, that Janna extension, being able to get that full screen, is actually crazy. Oh, the Pyrrhic tried to microduck. I like the attempt. Didn't work out. Gets caught in animation. She goes ahead and sets up that lantern. Not going to do much unless Baraka decides to jump, but no. Oh, comes in, just gets caught, not blocking, drops the Janet combo there. That's how we're still seeing. Wait, no, that oh. is a raw fatal. Not a raw fatal. Oh, enough. didn't get the kill off of it. And maybe Pyrrhic thought that this round is already over. Final didn't press round. a button on wake up. Fight. Oh my goodness. Well, we got Starks up here. Great micro duck. Gonna force the breaker here out of Pyrrhic. He's gonna be missing that meter for sure for combo extensions. Lee May though. Not sleeping on any combo extensions. She has her bar. She has her Janet. But here Starks decided to block with his face on wake up. And that hurts, especially versus a character like Baraka. Yeah, Baraka can dish out damage meterless as well. He's able to make it hurt every single time you make that mistake. Oh my gosh, Gorgeous what a whiff punish. punish. Yeah, that was a beautiful one. Doesn't get caught by the overhead, but gets caught looking the other way while blocking it somehow. Starks. Imagine Starks <laughs> going on the mic now as well, Missix. Starks, do it. Make Lee May noises. Finish him. <laughs> Imagine. He just For the goes on the mic now as well and does the same thing. I would lose it here. One, one, ten. We officially have a like, match. Be like, here's Janet. <laughs> Oh, this is yeah, this is like... a phenomenal start, Miss X. I gotta say that this is only the appetizer, though. For the community, we have five gorgeous MK1 sets in the pipeline featuring the highest level worldwide. Coming up next, a player we haven't seen for a long time. 62 Cent is gonna meet Young Mercuridge. Arn Kratos playing. We have Nuji Sosa, Jack Orlando, Deftat as a debut fight. I think this is gonna be a great night. Yeah, I think so, too. And I mean... We're starting off with Pyrrhic choosing violence here. Did not like losing and not being able to pop off on the mic. Definitely not one of his strong suits. Ooh, big whiff, whiff on the uh, jump out. Lee may get to find herself back in the corner though. Ooh, gets caught not blocking the whole string. Look at that extension too. I honestly have to say, I like the way Stars is implementing that Janet combo extension into the BNBs. Very interesting to watch. I like what he's doing. Yeah, I agree. I I'm enjoying these like different kinds of setups that we've started to see come out of characters. No, life is secured. Yes, we can play that full screen <laughs> gameplay now. Starks doesn't even have Round to go two. in. Pyrrhix all of a Five. sudden in trouble, Missy. Oh my gosh, we're just coming in with Chop Chop. Pyrrhix seems to be getting the start on a lot of these, uh, different rounds. He keeps having the life lead, but doesn't seem to be able to finish it out. Seems like Stark ends up making the better decisions when they're up close. Okay, sliding in that low. Pyrrhix has to break, has to save that damage. Almost gets the pressure launch into the lantern. It disappeared just at a time. Try to whiff punish, has to pay the price for it. Not in range. Ooh, the stuff. Gonna get launched here though, no breaker available. Knocked out. Yep, covered by Striker, and that's it. Pyrrhix! Wait, not quite, so but the copter it. is gonna oh. do it. Baraka Copter can always do it. Pyrrhix fighting his way back. Fight. By the way, Mystique, uh, fun fact, Fab is already fearing for his job here in the arena because I thought about, you know, putting putting Pyrrhix in his position here as a commentator on the regular. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, I think people would pay top dollar to see Pyrrhix the commentator. <laughs> Fab's and officially it has to be off his PS5 mic. You can't start getting a good mic where you can understand anything. It has to be a terrible mic. 
Oh no, follow up here from Stars on that one. Oh. Erex looking for one opener. Again. I see that Fatal Blow animation flashing there at the top. One touch, but wait, here comes Stars and that is gonna do it. We take the lead. Yeah. All right, Stars going up two to one. Well, you had said even before this match, like, set even started that you could see a game five coming out of this yes. and i can 100 percent see that even watching this set the thing is um both these players pyrrhics and starks literally play mk1 on the highest possible level and i think that this is gonna be a game five honestly maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right let's find out because we don't see any character switch i think pyrrhics is going to a different cameo though i see kano coming out chat once again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the support and the generosity. You guys are amazing. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting seeing what Kano brings in this matchup instead. Um, kind of seem to have the same uses as the other cameo, but Kano, like, knives obviously going to be more active as far as keeping safe. Uh, straight grenades sometimes have, like, weird whiffs. And also, yeah, you see that combo extension out of Kano that you don't necessarily get as much with Striker. Poke special, very good defense from Starks. All right, just the forward throw, keeping him in the corner, gets caught. Copter gets covered up by knives. Starks thought he had enough time to interrupt that, but did not. Still comes out on top though in that exchange. Both of them with access to fatal blow, just one touch from either player now. None have access to bar, none have access to breaker. We got a throw. Oh, and just one more trade will do it. Wait. The Baraka Copter is not going to be enough. And she, oh my God, that was so smart to do a down one. Yes, it goes under the Kano that. knife. Exactly. Very, very good situational awareness from Starks going for the low poke because those Kano knives were very, very close. Yeah, no, that was such a smart, because if she had gone stand one, it could have stuffed her out. Right. Double launcher into the corner. This is going to be a good amount of damage, but stick himself in the corner at the same time. The Microduck Jeez. extension sponsored by Janet, and now we are cooking over here. Love seeing these corner Janet combos as well. You get a lot of armor breakers, you get a lot more launchers. What it's the? really fun to watch these characters can do. No, Starks, I'm not even sure if that's allowed. You're juggling him. Erex, good flawless block. Reduce the chip damage as much as possible, but he has to be careful. Ballsy jump in. Starks just one round away from closing this out. Being patient, backing up, making sure that he can. Oh, That's good. Sends Wait, the fatal. Doesn't work. Not and good we enough. Get the punish here. Spirix has fallen, chat. Oh no, Spirix is down. Starks Lee is Lee. taking it. The Lee May Janet combo. Too much. Too much to handle. Unbelievable performance. Starks showing us what Lee May can do versus top tier characters. I mean, are we still allowed to call Baraka top tier though, Miss Seeks? Um I well, I can't call him bottom tier, so I guess he's <laughs> top tier, right? Like what's the other option? Cause he's not low tier. He's 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 I don't know. It, we'll have to see how it's like plays out with Janet. Because Janet and Chameleon have completely changed what characters are viable Definitely. and not. But I still think Baraka, at his base character, is a really good character to play. He's just not Raka Cyrax. A beautiful match number one, and that means it's time for the next showdown. CIS battle here in the arena. We have 62 cent returning after a very, very long time today versus our youngster, Merkurich. Yeah, I mean, Lu Lao is a really good team. We see Joystick, one of the top NA players, made like top eight and NA East last pro comp, playing this exact team. And it's really good at just enforcing his game. Lu is able to do things up close, mid screen and far that are able to put pressure on the other player the whole time. Oh, and there's going to be that open up, whole corner carry, Lao hat on setup. Let's see what 62 Cent can do to get out of the corner position. Just abusing that sweet to reset neutral. Smart just armoring through the pressure. Yeah. Just goes for the grab. Quick snatch. All right. 
corner vantage now. Let's see what pressure we can get. Using that sub zero cameo, too. Jazz, well, looking like he's pretty in control of this set so far. Um, Jazz, we're looking very, very comfortable with Lou lately, I have to say that. Yeah. So there we go. 62 cent getting up and opening. Gonna get the frozen combo extension here from Sub Zero. Oh my god, baits the reversal. That's a huge punish and a lot of damage. Forward four of the good old Liu Kang DMB. Yeah, what else would you need? Forward four until it connects and then extend it. You're gonna have time to extend it because 62 cent is gonna absolutely demolish that second round. Final round. Fight. He gets clipped on the toes, clipped in the face. Good bait too with the Lao hat holding it so that 60 cent goes to jump over the low fireball. Just slap him, call a carry on top. Oh, gets caught pressing. Wait a minute. Oh, 62 cent. Misses. Little input error has to pay the price for it. Just one. Side switch. Oh, back and yeah, forth. Side, side switch. switch, but not the uh, Kung Lao extender. Poor Lao Hat. Oh my god, the little shimmy. Not gonna be enough to kill. They're pretty much on the same life right now. Oh, goes for the fatal. No uplock from Jasper. Can't get the punish. No punish. Big, big mistake. 62 cent mash in. Goes for the throw. This is unbelievable. Finish. No way. 62 cent gonna win in that scramble right there. <laughs> Oh, the... Oh, no. That is very, very unfortunate. That raw fatal blow here. No uplock. And that was safe enough so that 62 Cent didn't lose the round. Insane. Oh, my God. That was ridiculous. What a scramble <laughs> from yes. both players. I had no idea what way that was going to go. But Mazis, you want to know what else is insane? Renton review in the chat. Resubscribing here on tier two for that extra support. Thank you guys so much once again for always subscribing here to the channel and helping out, you know, not only the players and the prize pool, but of course the entire arena staff at this point as well. So thank you so much, guys, for everything you've done for me personally throughout the last three years and now back to the match we go before i get too emotional yeah we don't need rips crying yet maybe in a little That's true. bit yes stop it guys <laughs> all right we got 62 cent starting out with violence Jezlo fishing gets that hit confirmed <laughs> oh misses the side switch combo though I see my boy Arn Kratos in the chat as well. So of course we have to, to share the most important information here with the community. <laughs> 50 now, chat. 50 now. 50 now in CS, like yeah. CSGO? That was free, yeah. Man, 15 oh. Come on, Arn. There's the break. Right, we got breaker spent. No longer has to worry about that if he wants to confirm into fatal. Oh, 62 cent, what are you doing? Out? And there it is, Jesswo. He listened to my commentary. This time we got the up lock. Round two. Yeah, he, he learned from his uh best. You know, he was like, Wait. I better up block it. Oh, Wait. oh, we Mr. got, we got. At Boone. Back to the match we go. One, oh, 62 cent. We are finally back. Sorry for the delay. Which makes them slay. That sounds like an absolutely awesome concept. I'm gonna have to tune into that. You guys should too. That sounds absolutely amazing. Oh, and 62. No, 62 cent. I am impressed. He wants to give Jesswo the round as well because of the Oh, yeah, Jesswo took. Oh my god, look at him taunting. He's like, no, 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 no. And <laughs> Jesswo doesn't want it. No, 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 no. Man, what is, what is going on here? Most of the time, the players are like, man, I try to get every single round I can, no matter what. But these two, they are different. 
Yeah, they're awesome. I mean, like, as we know, they know each other from the arena. They play against each other consistently. It's always great to see this kind of thing. They're like, but this is what you see at Rip's Arena. This is what you see here. This is the kind of community that's been cultivated. People who are just here to, like, play and get better and put on a good show for you guys. Monk Lizzie saying no to that Liu Kang projectile. And get the projectile uh, armor off. Not gonna do much against the bicycle kick, though. Or whatever it's called, Slightly dancing dragon. Throw. Just were not able to take in time. Round two. Right. Sixty-two cent grabbing a snack off of the ground. Gonna come on in. No Good up on that. Sixty-two right cent. This man is going crazy. Whiff punish. Oh my gosh, the whiff punish of ages. Gets that freeze up. Gonna get another launcher here and force. That was a really late breaker coming out of Jazzwo. Has a lot of life to make up for, too. Still no access to bar at all for extensions. Relying on those Liu Kang throw extensions right now. 4-4 four, four for the win. Uh, all these forward for staggers. 60 cent. There's the opening from Jesmo. All out. right, I'm gonna come. Yeah, gets the breaker there. Oh, good jump in. Surprising to get caught there. Not gonna be enough to kill, but now Jazwo had the meter advantage. Spin it. Does he get caught? No. no. Up block. Jesmo didn't learn his lesson. Oh my gosh, having so much trouble punishing that fatal blow for the third time now. Monclizzi, 62% going for the zoning and basically crushing that low poke attempt from Jesuo. Oh, n what a play. Jaswo a couple of times hit that for a whiff punish and I think it's the way that Havoc like completely extends his body he's able to get over some of the lower yes, pokes. Yes, he, he basically flew over it. Let's take a look at that replay. There it is. He was completely airborne. Yeah, exactly. It's just it completely kind of dials back his hurt box on the bottom. It's such a smart move. And 7.13 in the chat is saying for the first time, um, is it too dark for everyone? Uh, 7.30, we actually get messages like that quite often, and we try to figure it out, but it seems that it's different for everyone, uh, depending on their screen, if they're watching on mobile. So this, for us, is like the perfect setting for the majority of people. If it's too dark, you guys have to adjust it on your end. We try to play around with it a lot in the, in the first weeks. And um, yeah, that's the, the setting which was the best for the majority of the community. Yeah, I can say looking at it on my monitor, it looks fantastic. Oh, gets through the hard to block wall with the armor, but he was looking the wrong way. Oh my gosh, whiff punish. He just, that's basically been 62 cents main way of getting in and starting this combo starter. Quick 374 off your life for it too. We're seeing a lot more zoning out of Jazzwo this time. 4-4 four, four, and that should be it for the round. It is, even though the reversal 3-0 is needed. Round two, fight. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, unlikely though, you know? He's doing a really good job keeping up with 62 Cent. Definitely learning a lot more of his layers. It's kind of hard when not many people play Havoc. Good jump. Well played. Able to get over both of those Blood Bowls. Just armoring through it. Monk Lizzie once yeah. again in action. Good interrupt. Armor through it, armor through it again, but breaks the armor into fatal blow, and that should be it. I love that sound it makes, you know, when it breaks the armor, this ding, 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 ding. Yeah, no, it's actually so satisfying. Is that gonna be enough? Not yet. 60% still Not breathing. Enough. Try to press on wake up. But Jesuo managed to secure the first round on the board now. 2-1. Yeah, 
Yeah, Jazzwell looking really, really strong in that match. Getting a lot more of the armor breaks, figuring out how Havoc's armor works, definitely being able to not get hit by that whiff punish by choosing shorting startup normals that are like highs or mids instead of lows. Jazzwell's looking like he's starting to get the hang of this matchup right now. He's right. And I see Cuphead player in the chat as well, our one man bit hype train. Cuphead, thank you so much, especially for all the support lately here. Not only for me, but for the players too. You guys are crushing it. Thanks for being here. What's up, Cuphead? Hope you're having a good one. Everyone in the chat's having a good one. Everyone on YouTube's having a good one. We're having a fun time watching this set. We're just getting started today. Oh, interesting encounter here in the first second. Combo extension with the Sub-Zero here. Gonna get another launcher after this. Havoc can dish out so much damage, even with the dropped combo. Got 356 there. Ooh, he gets hit by the clip of blue or Kung Lao's hat. Gonna go raw fatal. Gets the up block. All right, Jazzwell's learned it. The two set did have access to break. We're gonna have to spend it there. See if we can finish it out. One more opening for either of these characters. And <laughs> Jazwa with the goofiest looking kick yes. in the game. 62 cent officially on match point. The 62 cent just like having goofy kicks. He had Terminators down three. I'm so happy <laughs> seeing 62 Cent back in our tournament. Feels like coming home, you know, because 62 Cent competed, I think, in the very, very first MK11 tournament we hosted as well. So always glad to see those OGs return and Jasper getting clapped over here in the corner. Yeah, it is really fun to watch for sure. I love seeing how uh, other people that we know from our MK11 days implement other characters that are maybe similar as well. Oh my gosh, Jaswell with the run back hits into fatal blow. Okay, that one's gotta be it. 171. Wait for six. The problem is Havoc is built like a freaking tank. Nah, that's it. That's gotta be it, Rips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are right, Miss Six. <laughs> and Jogrix in the chat. Another tier Fight. two subscriber today. I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much, Jogrix, for the support saying Rips our content savior. You guys are way too kind. Thank you so much for always being here with us. Okay, oh my goodness, the anti-air read from across the screen. 62 cent running away with this round right now. Oh my god, look at this damage in the corner. Just what, in trouble, the boy's feeling the pressure. Alright, doesn't get hit out by the armor. I mean, he's on life support right now. Gonna need a miracle to be able to pull this one out. Double down and one, just, just down like one. in the good old MK11 days. 62 cent takes it. GG's. GG's indeed. Nice to have you back, 62 cent. GG's, Jazwo. That was a fun one. That was a great one. And Flip in the chat is saying, you know what? Let's throw out a little bit of support here to the community. Flip, thank you so much for the gifted subscription. Yeah. Hey, hey, if any of you guys have a Prime sub, you get one free a month. You should check through Amazon Prime. Use it on Rips Arena right here. You've got one of the best TOs showing off all Stop your it, MK1 it. stuff for Stop free. It. You've got quality daily YouTube uploads coming out of here. Stop You've it. got a shiny bald head wait, so wait. that you can go and do your eye doctor and tell them you're no longer able to see. You got it all. Right? Anything you could ever ask for. Check it out. See if you have one. Use it. If you don't, maybe you got five bucks. If you don't, maybe you got a follow in you. But of course, Mystique is right. Thank you guys so much for being here, for watching all these tournaments, not only here live on Twitch, but over there on YouTube as well. Keeping the lights on, not only for me personally here and Nero, who is chilling there under the table. I don't know if you guys can see him, but it's time for the next match. Hello. Debut fight, Mystique, for the first time on stream. Let's it is Death and that means we're going to see some Kitana gameplay. That's going to be fun. I don't get to see a lot of Kitana. 
bot. Is it Katana Chameleon? Yeah. I have been seeing Katana Chameleon pop up a bit more. I've been seeing her come back around. Support for your and I see the big daddy in action. Jack Orlando bringing his main character, General Shaw. General Shaw versus Katana. Another one. We don't get to see all that often. Oh, there is that quick open up here out of Death Cat. The Jade Blade is going to provide so much extra damage on top of the combo extension, but my god, Katana can go corner to corner. We got Jack Orlando starting off his own damage sequence here. No hammer going to be able to allow him to have some more of that schmix. Jack Orlando going crazy. Death Cat over there in the corner has to find a way out. Beautiful pickup. Yeah. She goes for poor girl. Walks up and grabs. <laughs> Walked up in that woman's face and grabbed her. Good all this block. Knowing the gap there. Oh, what a punish on the reversal. Gonna be able to close this out with the fatal blow. Lots of damage being done. Oh, it wasn't enough to kill. Oh Wait, my goodness, the scaling on that was ridiculous. Poke special, ballsy move from Death Tet. Got away with it. Round two. Yeah, but that was Fight. way too close for comfort. Oh, I'm looking. I didn't realize Jasper Lando had 1100. That that makes a lot more sense. So both sends the Jade Glaive out. He Not easy to do. I like what I see from Death Tad, especially considering that this is the debut fight on stream. Yeah, oh my god, and what a setup with the fan knowing that Jack Orlando might try to jump in. Oh, but watch your head, because Molina Ball is coming in. Katana, her sister, is going to go ahead and finish off. Oh my god, watch your head too, because he is a Molina right back at you. Death Tad playing out of his mind. Okay, Jack Orlando now needs to bring his A game. Jack Orlando pressure gets blocked on the overhead. Oh, but doesn't block the Molina overhead, forcing Breaker. There's the sweep, and that's gonna be enough. Death Tad taking the lead in the set. 1 0. Get right. Wins. We got Death Tad going up. Arena debut winning his first match. And I see young Mokuric now in the chat saying, oh shit, did I miss my set? Yes, Mokuric, unfortunately you did. That means no internet, no phone, no TV for the next two weeks. I'm calling your parents right now. You're After grounded. Yes, grounded. Round one, fight. We have, to, we have to teach these kids, Miss Eeks, you know? Yeah, seriously. No Mortal Kombat no. for three hours. <laughs> See, they don't know what it was like in our day. I had to walk 10 miles Same to here, school. Or sorry, sorry. We're EU people here. I had to walk 20 kilometers <laughs> to school and Without 20 kilometers shoes. back. In the snow without shoes, and it was uphill both ways, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute, Jack Orlando, what happened after the first round? Okay, got the launcher into Fatal. Does this hit? Does this confirm from that far? No, he's got the breaker to use instead. Gets the jump in, but oh my goodness, got caught blocking with their faces, Rips likes to say. <laughs> you lost the Round war. two. Fight. Me Seeks is like 24. I am not 24, actually. But good try. Molina overhead. Good block on it, too. Not able to quite get a punish, but at least getting the throw out of it 
get some damage on the board. Oh, that is smart. Low profiling the projectile. Yeah. Chameleon gets blocked. Oh, gets sniped out of the air with the mo- Oh my god, did you see that? Full screen conversion? What was that? Doesn't get punished for that reversal. Does manage wasting a bar though, but Jack Orlando is going to be able to get in, get the pop up, get some Molina help to continue it. The block's going to get mixed going. Try to, but that is a punish. That standing too is so useful. Insane range on this bad boy. Alright, just a forward throw. Jack Orlando gonna have access to that fatal blow though, where Death Tat's not. So it's just one touch, one hit confirmed here from Jack Orlando. But it's gonna be the sweep that does it. Death Tat fighting. We're going to a round three. Very impressive debut match. Yeah, extremely impressive. Death Tat, a name that I've seen around before. So I've definitely probably seen compete in other places. But new to the arena, it's hard to come in new to the arena. See what we got. Look at this. Good trade. Yeah, and just popping all around, but Jack Orlando able to get the hit in there. Get another hit. Watch your head. Jade Glade coming back, able to put on pressure. Gets the opening, but isn't really getting much out of it. Getting about like 115 to 200 out of each one of these, where Death Hat is confirming into Fatal. I don't Scaling. think this will be enough to kill. Wait, let, let's have a look. The scaling doesn't look bad, this is. The That's scaling isn't it. bad. Why? <laughs> I, need, I need to figure out the scaling. Players are crying game. right now in <laughs> front of their screen mistakes. Oh my god, what a play. F Tat, bringing the katana, man. That is, uh, that was way more damage than I expected. 2 oh, Death Tad officially on sweep point on his debut fight. Very, very impressive, Kitana. Welcome to the arena, Death Tad. And at yeah, the same time... Thank you for being in the arena. At the same time, 410 people here in the chat with us live. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you all for being here, guys. It, we wouldn't be here if you guys weren't here. Round one. Fight. Fight. Jumping that second wave. Let's see. Oh, I love that extension with the katana on the throw. Good blocks as well, and great patience to have the punish locked down. Death Cat is going at a huge life deficit right now and stuck in the corner. Oh my gosh, gets caught by the katana coming in. Oh, watch your head though. Molina Barrel is coming through. Only about 300 coming out there. The ball is blocked though, making sure that anything that could be chipped won't hurt, but that won't matter because Jack Orlando is flying in. Round two. Fight. Death test. Answering back. So death tag can get started here. Gets caught. I think that was a missed input there from Death Cat. Jeff Orlando taking the advantage of it. Command Goes Grad City. And Command Grab. Yeah. So one of the few characters who get access to a mid Command Grab when that axe is on the ground. Oh, good reversal armor through. Punish on that. Gonna get the combo extension, but drops it. Good punish. Uh, gets the jade glow up. Not sure why. Oh, I guess it would work against the chameleon projectiles. Won't be enough though. Jack Orlando on the board, looking to make this reverse 3-0. What are the predictions for this one looking like? 
match definitely not over yet. We can take a look. It's a quite a close one. 59% on Deftat, 41% on Jack Orlando. All right, we're close. We got a 50 to 50. We got a match. And I see so many legends in the chat. Pumping Jim Red. I see Mr. Black here with us as well. Hope everyone is enjoying the show. Yes, hope you guys are having as good of a time as we are. I am not finished, Katana. Yeah. Round one. Fight. Into it we go. No character switches, no cameo switches. We're keeping it out with these ones. Oh, good. Yo. Exceptional in the chat here with the 81 viewer right. Thank you so much. Hope you're a wonderful stream, brother. Oh, no enter. Right. We tried to up lock, didn't work out. Deftat, good flawless block. Jack Orlando, that Chow is swinging. Yeah, and here he comes in with so much more damage in the corner. Goes ahead and gets that command grab right away on a wake up. It's a mid. It's a mid. Watch out for it. Down one, folks. Both trying to find an opening here, but Jack Orlando, just so much of a life lead, just needs one more poke to even finish it out. It can even go with chip damage at this point. It looks like a little download to me. Jack Orlando all of a sudden playing it way more confident, and we can see Deftat in trouble for the first time. Yeah, it seems like Deftat's having trouble getting his footing, figuring out where those openings are that he was getting before, because it feels like Jack Orlando has found the normals to beat the normals that Deftat was starting his combos with. Fight. Oh, just wake up, grab. That's how we start. Yes, in 130 from the Dave one. Okay, tries to get the sweep. No anti-air there. Deftat definitely playing and backing off a little bit more, but catches Jack Orlando in that trap. Going to be a huge extension right back into the corner. Good tech. Deftat Death Death. finding those openings again. Yes, yeah, can play it very off defensive. Again. I mean, that's the smartest yeah. way. You don't want to deal with show up close, especially when he has that mix loaded with X on the ground. Oh my gosh. Death and Death. just needs chip. Deftap looking to finish out this set. Doesn't want any more downloading to happen. Oh my god, the duck and punish? What a punish there from Jeff Orlando, knowing the exact button he needed to depress for that spacing. Gonna go ahead and get this big conversion, and that's gonna hurt with 350 gone. I saw that full two attempt from Jack Orlando. Got caught. That's the punish. Not your turn yet. Hold this. Oh, drops. Oh, and not a big to whiff, Mystics. This is going to be a lot of damage rips. Gorgeous combo. I love it. Punish. I really oh, do like it. Hey. Death Tats. Unbelievable <laughs> scenes we are witnessing in the arena tonight. Debut fight. And that performance was ridiculous was so great welcome to the arena death tag you fit right in oh, yes. <laughs> the fatality at the end and everything that was a freaking insane set here from both of them jack orlando death tag thank you guys so much for playing and that means it's time for another blockbuster for all mk1 fans out there let's take a look at our lineup screen together miss Seeks. i see two very very familiar names coming up next yeah, of course. We've got so said. And it, is it Nugi? It that is you, Nugi. Nugi. Nugi and so said. To Neither of them new to the arena. <laughs> that is right. I mean, Nugi, especially in the last weeks, playing out of his mind in his last encounter, managing to take down video games, yo, in one of our league qualifiers. And of course, so said on the other side, we know what this man can do with gear is a very strong general show as a secondary character as well. So I expect a close match. Let me, you know, let me make the assumption here. I think it's going to a game five, Miss Eeks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Game five. Okay, but if it doesn't go to a game five, you have to shave your head. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I feel 
Those, those are the rules. I didn't make them. Well, Mazix, if it goes through game five, you have to shave your head. Oh, okay, Wait, yeah, sure. All right. Jay Soon's <laughs> laboratory. Looking earnestly wants Outworld to do well. Me and Quan can hang out. Round one. Go to the Bald Head Mark. Anonymous Club. And pray to enter her here immediately. Nuji's saying this is a no fly zone, my friend. Don't even try that. Oh, no fly zone indeed. Just get out of the air. This Molina play double Molina with the chameleon. I'm glad to see care uh, people like So Said who have stuck with characters like Garrus because I think Garrus has so much sauce to him. He's a really complicated character compared to some, but I don't think he's bad. So I really like getting to see him play, especially at the highest level. We see some neutral Nuji with a very decent life lead in the beginning. Oh, that was a good opener. So Said on life support, looking for the Thanos. Oh, and just gets caught overhead, not blocking. Round two. Fight. We're gonna get that back throw. Hard knockdown. Good flawless block. Knowledge on that final gap. So of the course, combo Chameleon extension. gives those throw extensions. Oh yeah, of course. Chameleon adds so much. In the same way that Janet adds so much to every single character. It gives them so much more utility. Oh, great up block there by So Said. Making the read, getting the time freeze. Blend Look at this time. setup in the corner. Yeah, what are you. Yeah, higher. You didn't block that on Wake Up? Why not? That was easy. Both of them a fatal blow. God, neither of them finding an opening. Not gonna be enough to kill. Oh, but the Molina ball will do it. Nuji, I don't know what's wrong with him lately, but he is playing so good. Yeah, this is probably the best katana I've really seen recently. Nuji just playing her a lot differently. Those anti airs were ridiculous. Get out of the air. Every that, single that time. That Molina, super, super good. Super, super clean. And you said that So said has a uh, show, right? As a general show, yes. As a secondary for certain matchups. Not sure if we're going to see it, though, in this one. Melina. Gears, yeah, looks like, we're, looks like we're sticking with the Garrus sector for now. I, I don't see the sector doing much. I saw a couple set up bombs, but sector didn't really seem to be adding a lot to this matchup. Round one, fight. Oh my Good gosh. Answer. Yep, there's the adaptation from Soulset. Luigi tried that in the previous round as well. Yep. And he was ready for it that time. Went for the up block, got caught in the empty jump throw, gets punished. Oh, raw teleport? So it's like jumping out, but what a whiff punish. Buffing up, right. okay. Yeah, so such playing it slow. Yeah, using that sector missile to make sure that he's able to buff up is really smart. Making sure to keep Melina far enough that she can't do that much. Oops. So much pressure here. Look at the staggers. Look at the staggers right now. She's blocking. Grab. <laughs> or do that. Or open her up. And don't listen to me. I'm just a commentator. <laughs> but so said, showing signs of adaptation. Fight. Yeah, for sure. And I, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if we see So Said start grabbing more in those shimmy strike throw type situations. But right now, able to get the shimmies out without needing that. Gets a restand. But she uses armor on Wake Up. Gonna be able to get her out of that situation. Some block. 
No fly zone for Soset as well. Side switch. Now Nuji back against the wall once again. Here comes the blender. Yeah, like block this. You got a missile coming in. You got two Gearuses. Oh, gets caught again by the armor. Good block on the Molina ball and it was easily close enough to be able to clean punish that. The Molina ball mid-screen can be a little hard to punish sometimes with the pushback, but right there, Soset had it so easy. Another very, very even match on paper. One game apiece. That means final first 2 two incoming between Nuji and Soset. Guys, I don't need this to be... Please don't let this be a game five. <laughs> Let's take a look at the prediction. 82% on Nuji. <laughs> so said the gear is goatee. <laughs> Pumping Jim Red. What is that prediction? Oh my Our god. god. <laughs> <laughs> said the gear is goatee. <laughs> the gear is goatee. <laughs> and Nuji's just from the UK. That's, that's who he is. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Oh. Hitting her up. We get worked out better in Nuji. Oh my gosh. What a micro duck. Big damage Reset. in the corner. Into the restand. Yeah, what's the setup here? Stand again. Good tech. Good up block by Sosid. Oh my god, what a read. Because the last one was an empty jump throw, he still took that risk and gets the round for it as a reward. Fight. Ooh. Get yoink. Gonna go ahead and set up the missile here in the corner. Oh, the shimmy backdash into that long standing jab. Both of them running the sector, both of the missiles hitting at the same time, but so said, oh my god, the snap to the face. So said, showing us why he <laughs> is considered one of the strongest Gears players in Europe. Dude is so good at adaptating. No, adapting. <laughs> Did I just adaptating, say adapting? Yeah. Adaptating, yeah. That is the perfect English here. Yeah. The goatee. Yeah, that's right, chat. He's the only fucking Garrus player? Yeah, well, you're getting your matchup knowledge now, I guess. <laughs> that is one of the things about these people who specialize in characters that aren't played that much. How are you getting your matchup knowledge other than, like, labbing, you know? You're not necessarily getting to play against these people. That is not my role, Empress. Uh, how am I meant to learn? By, the, by playing on Rip's Arena. That's how you will learn. Oh my goodness. Oh my Gorgeous god. Thunder. That was so cool looking. Oh, sniped it right out of the ball roll attempt. Gonna get to set up with Sector again. Oh, grab her. Bonk. Watch your head. Good tech. So it's like a spot not blocking and decides to go back in time to correct his mistakes. Watch your toes get launched. Eat all this damage. Stay frozen and die. The side switch as well. Very smart from Soulset. Match point. Round two. Fight. Good flawless block on that last hit. Man, the strike throw set up the sector right now is so set are going insane, but Noogie come out Noogie comes out on top. I keep calling Noogie. Good Great air to Yeah, he was ready for this one. Yeah, Nuji's done it a couple times. And so said was ready for it that time. The question is, what's the next layer? The next thing to bait it? That was 50% right there. 
That good was, old Melina damage. That was 50%. With no fatal ball. And oh my god, the ball roll right as the sector call comes out. What a play. Going to a final round here. So said, trying to finish this out. 3 to 1. Nuji hanging on for dear life. Extremely unsafe. Great conversion there off of the sector missile too. Gonna be able to get that 330 off. So said with a life lead. Playing a lot more patient here. Trying to find a whiff punish. Finds the restand instead and gets the third hit on that string. Nuji is fighting. He is. Now look at this damage that Nuji is about to dish it up. Was that, what, meterless? 230? Good. Oh, the punish. The Wait a minute, Missy. This, this could should be, be it. it. So set. Not dropping it. GG's. Finish her. GG's indeed. GG's to all the Grips' hair. <laughs> he has to go bald. It didn't go to a game five. So, uh, hope you guys are looking forward to that, because that'll be a change of pace here on the arena. What yeah, it was a performance that was. A Garrus of that level, man. That's such a pleasure to watch. Super, super entertaining really every single time, both of them. Nuji and, of course, Sosa. Thank you guys so much for playing. And that brings us to our final set of the night. And I know that a lot of people out there are waiting for this one. It is the boy on Kratos versus right. Maxiel tonight. And I already gave you a little spoiler mistake about Maxiel. Mm -hmm. Very, very unique can she player. Uh, most of the time mixing it up with Darius. Yeah, that's what you were telling me. You were like, oh, can she player? I was like, oh, can she player? And then you said Darius. And I mean,. I can't imagine having a Sento, a Darius, and a Kenshi on the screen all at the same time. I was the, thinking about it with, like, the implications with Janet Cage and Sento. I just cannot even imagine what's going to be coming with that. But Darius, I really don't understand a lot about how it works. I understand the combo extension and dial-in, etc. It's just, he's never used. Nobody uses him. This is going to be a great one to watch. Rent and review once again. Thank you so much for the support here. Thanks for the gifted sub. And now let's take a look Chance. what characters we're going to see. Kenshi. Darius. Chameleon. Sundo. You will tell me how to find Liu Kang. So, oh, Shang. and Kratos is bringing Kenshi. Shang again. A lot of Kenshi. people, Kenshi. they Kenshi. asked for it. I got you, Masix. <laughs> And we even get the extended stare down here in round number one. Of course. I like how they're matching outfits. I think that was really nice of them. <laughs> and Asta in the chat with a five euro donation saying, for my boy Arm Kratos. Wait, did you guys pay Arm Kratos to play Shang Tsung? Is that what's happening? <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine. But I don't know. Yeah, Arm Kratos on Shang, it, it just is his character. It just feels like Arn Kratos, you know? I want to see how the Darius gets used right now. But it looks like Arn Kratos doesn't even want to see him come out right now. Full screen pressure going on, dashing in, grabbing. Jake Leave coming back at you, watch out for it. Maxiel not really able to get much started, getting these stray hits, but has Sento up now at least, and you're in the Sento sandwich, and I mean, it doesn't matter if you haven't really gotten anything to connect all around, because you got in the Sento sandwich, and then he had Fatal Blow, and now you're dead. <laughs> That's how it is sometimes. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, not Kenshi! Five, twenty-four. I'm 24. All right, gonna go ahead and oh, drops oh, drop the combo it. on the health sparks. All right, here comes the extended combo. You can see in from Shank since day one. Maxi 
mill, trying to find the spacing right here, but the farmer threw. Smart choice by Arn Kratos right there. Uh, I would have gotten shimmy there. That little delay from Arn good throw tech. Crisp defense. Walk pressure. Maxiel trying to find an opening, but worried about the shimmy. How is Arn Kratos on the throw taking all again? Of okay, finally. There's one escape pain. Yeah, like he's bound to get thrown at some point. Oh my god, Maxiel <laughs> trying to run his way through it all. <laughs> Not enough. Arn Kratos is going to go ahead and take that second round here. All right. Good shimmy with the spacing. Nice. Doesn't. Yes, Arn Kratos, he expected Maxiel to go for that anti-air attempt. Alright, got Jigs low up. And here comes a Darius. Okay, so I see Darius allows him to get full Sento up. I'm curious what else Darius does, though. Because there's a couple other cameos that can do the same thing for you. I want to see what else you can get going with them. Maxiel. I mean, Arn Kratos. Getting mixed. He is. You're getting mixed. <laughs> you need the sound bite. Arncrator's up 1-0 here in our final set of the night. All right, we're getting to see true Arn on display here. Absolutely dominating his spacing, his movement. It doesn't matter what character he's playing. It's just the game knowledge is game awareness is so, so just unmatched. But I already know, especially the YouTube community, you're going to be very, very happy about it. Whenever we have Arn on stream, they're like, man, hopefully he brings Shang Tsung. And then when he plays Lao instead, they're like, oh, no. But today he did it for the people out there. The shang a ding dong is back chat. That, that's for you guys on YouTube. Another extended stare down here in match number two? Uh, they're thinking about it. They're really just, nobody wants to break eye contact. <laughs> Fight. All right, there we go. We're gonna get started. That is Getting so cheeky. Extension. Oh my God, that was beautiful. Yeah. That was so cool. I've never seen that before as well, uh, unless Arn Kratos showed us that this is possible with Comedian. I just Arn is just absolutely dominating right now. Maxiel can't even get anything started at the moment. Arn with the spacing, it's such a better trade for him. Forcing Breaker on just a yes. Jade Glaive. Quite interesting that Maxiel spent the Breaker there in that moment, losing so many resources. Round two. Yeah, because at that Fight. point, to be honest, like making the comeback in that round you might have just said hey i'm, I'm gonna try my best but i'm gonna give up the round and keep my resources oh the extension of Darius. Okay, no follow-up from the jade glyph right what's up again here Jade Glaive just gets caught pressing over and over. Man, Maxi Arn over there in the blender. Arn Kratos putting on so much pressure. We got we got Sento out. See, this could be it though. This could be the beginning of the end. Sento is out and you're in the middle. Sento sandwich time. Let's see how Arn can block. Oh my god. Is he not gonna- oh, I was like, is he not gonna use the Fatal? Use the Fatal, go ahead. And just like that, Maxiel is able to stay alive. And I see Nurk in the chat. Thank you so much for the resubscription, Nurk. I appreciate you. Fight. Someone banned the person that just said Loshi in the chat. <laughs> Oh, good blocks and punish there on the Molina ball. Gonna be able to go ahead and get an Look extension there with Darius. End here on the Sento sandwich too. 
it's crazy how quickly the pace and sliding of the game changes as soon as Sento's out. It is absolutely insane. Good blocks from Arn, but you can't block forever. Arn Kratos, all of a sudden here, feeling the pressure versus Maxia, who is showing us what Kenshi Darius can do in a competitive environment. Very, very impressive gameplay from both so far. Tiago, thank you so much for the raid as well. I appreciate every single one out here for spending time with us, watching some competitive MK1. Since Mazix and I today are hosting another qualifier for our $2,000 league series. Very close to the finals as well, Mazix. Only one week of qualifier left. Yeah, and then we're going to have a crazy... Is it top 32? Top 16? Top 32, yes. Top 32. That's going to be a showdown. Top 32 Kenshi, of these players that you see watching every Darius, single day competing Daniel, for this. The Great Hall. You should be there. Be there. You I'll be lucky there. to escape me alive, which makes taking you down feel that much better. All right. Sticking with the Shang. Round one, fight. So, can you switch from on Kratos? No more Chameleon, now we see Kano. Yeah. Interesting. I just feel like Chameleon brings so much utility, but maybe we don't see it as much with the Shang. Maybe he's looking for the coverage of the knives or Cannibal. Tries to armor through. Sento's making his way in. He's down right now. He's hanging out. He's back up. Oh, the knives are going to be really good for when Sento's coming in like that. And doesn't... He's not able to extend Sento and keep him up in the corner anymore. The thing is, the momentum can switch so quick here, Mystique, in this match. Oh, yeah. Just so quickly, because we've seen Arn up by this much, if not more, in a couple of the other matches. And as soon as there was the right Sento setup, Arn got absolutely burnt. But I mean, Maxiel not able to do it in this round. Arn closing it out there with the Shang. Just has to play so much more cautiously. But here, That's we're right. going to get a full Sento setup. Because the problem is you get opened up once by Kenshi and then it's basically a guarantee 35% into a force mix-up situation where you can lose another 35 right after. Yeah, and like I said, Arn tried to armor out. He tried to armor out, but the hits are happening so fast. Armor break is just like, bam. Final round. And it is unbelievable what's happening here in the chat. Thank you guys so much for the support. We are on a late night hype train together with the community. Arm Kratos versus Maxiel on screen. Thank you so much for the support, everyone. Yeah, thank you so much to the almost 500 of you here hanging out with us, watching this crazy gameplay, watching Sento on the screen. Oh no. Are you as scared as I am? I am super <laughs> scared because that's exactly what we were talking about. Sento is out, and now Maxiel having a little party. Yeah, I'm gonna armor through, bring Sento down, but can he get him to the back? I'm not sure if he's gonna disappear. Yeah, looks like Sento's gone. Arn with Fatal Blow on lock, just one confirm into Fatal can do it. Same with Maxiel, though. Neither of them have access to Breaker. Mystique's dead. Oh, there's Wait, the Breaker. the Breaker, he gets it. Flawless block. Wait. Goes for the wall. Does it hit? <laughs> no. No. Armor has been broken by Arn Kratos, who now takes the lead officially on match point. Oh my goodness. What a... I had no idea how that was going to go. Get sniped. He got sniped. What a read by Arn. We got we got a hype train going on right now. We got a level two hype train. Thank you guys so much. I think Arn Kratos thought that the match is already over. <laughs> Arn right, Kratos Arn. already dropping GGs in the chat. Maxiel not happy about it. <laughs> oh no! Not the preemptive GGs. Jensu, Kenshi, Kano. I mean, Maxiel, honestly, you can be proud. 
You got one round more already than Aunt Kratos got versus me in Counter Strike. Fifteen out. <laughs> Temple of Kataravala. Did you know? If you'd listen to me, the Aunt Kratos fifteen zero in what CS:GO. Sento's given back to me ten times over. Round one, fight. <laughs> Big whip to start. All this pressure full screen coming out of Arn. Oh, we got the Sub Zero cameo instead of the Darius cameo. Gonna go ahead and give that guaranteed freeze time, get Sento up. It's yes, also gonna I, really help against the projectiles. I was about to mention that, yeah, the Monklizzy, of course, very, very useful because we know how strong Shang's zoning can be. Yeah, exactly. Especially when he has access to those Kano Knives and Kano Ball as well. We're seeing a lot out of Arn Kratos as far as zoning goes. So Sub-Zero gonna be really useful for that. Oh, little, okay. Oh. Oh. You're still in this. We're playing through it. Oops. Good threat from oh, Maxi. Ball one to get the Sub-Zero shield on. What a gets like, what? Oh my god, that conversion was sick. Round two, fight. Wake up. Just getting hit with all of these setups over and over. When is my seal's turn? Is it ever my seal's turn? I don't think so, Mystique. So Arm Kratos right now even morphing into Kenshi himself. Yep, he said, I can Kenshi. Oh my god, using the same armor against him. <laughs> oh my god, get caught with the low, get launched. Sento is out. Could this be the momentum Mexiel needs to solidify a final round here? Tries to armor Arn. Arn's blocking for his life, but goes ahead, gets the hit, and that's gonna be it. Maxiel is bringing us to a final round. Sento can do such crazy comeback. Good up block. Up block again. Flawless block. Okay, Arn. Oh, and then that whiff punish forcing quick breaker. Got caught blocking with your face. Twitching to Kenshi. Let's see what he's got with Kenshi. What's your Kenshi combos? <laughs> so disappointing. Oh, try to wake up. Oh, that is dangerous. Look at the damage. Mystique, what is? What are those numbers? Here it is. It's still going. And he dropped it and it was 40. He dropped it and it was 40%. Sento back down, but now he's in the pack. We're gonna get a sandwich. Both of them, one touch into Fatal Blow. Neither of them access to Breaker. Oh, and there, Maxiel finding the hit confirm. I mean, I mean, chat. Oh, chat, God. you know what what this means, right? I'm you Kratos laughing in the chat Finish. for the first time tonight. We are getting that sweet game five. Arn Kratos versus Max We are going the full distance in the arena. Rent and review going crazy once again in the chat. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the show. This is a very, very close match, Mystics. This is insane. I'm really loving this match. The interesting thing is, though, it doesn't seem like Arn really seems to know Kenshi. Because anytime he switches into Kenshi form, it's like he knows how to armor with him. And he knows like two strings and so i think he was he was playing with his food a little bit there let's see if i, I was just hoping to see if max seal posted a ggs back after that <laughs> one <laughs> chat go crazy thanks for being here actually i'll take you to him in chains
Right, extended stare down for the final one. <laughs> this makes it extra intense. Round one. It really oh. does. Right, sticking with the Kano. Final teams have been chosen. <laughs> All right. Oh, get caught with that overhead on Wago. Oh, and again, makes you jumping right into that projectile. Maxiel good blocks. But, I mean, look, where did Maxiel's life go? When did that happen? You mentioned Alfredo's potentially playing with his food. Right now, this is looking like all business. Yeah, no, this is a different Arn right now. All right, we got Maxiel. Just backstabbing real quick. Into the other shot. Oh my gosh. Uh, the the setup with the overhead, too. Round two. Fight. Big whiff on oh. Fiddles, only getting the low poke. Yeah, but still, what a great whiff punish gives him that Medion wake up, too. That was oh clean. My I like God. that. Clean backdash in to confirm. Out of Max Seal, you're gonna go ahead and get Arn in the Sento sandwich. How's he getting out? Oh my gosh, what a choice! I love that. What a creative choice to get him out of that same setup that he's seen. Alright, Kano Ball, keep him safe. Doesn't get the snipe out of the air. This is gonna be a big punish. Sento's back out again. We can see a lot of numbers get on the board right now. Maxi, look Arn at this damage. Forty-two percent. Oh, and that's gonna be it for the round. We're going final game, final round. Can I, can I please, can I please get some exclamation mark aos, please? This is just too close, Mystics. I can barely breathe here. I am on the edge of my seat right now, Rips. My god. Okay, Arn, starting with the big life lead here. The question is, can Maxiel get a Sento setup? That is the big question of the match. Of the he needs set. It right now. What oh, here it is? No, he didn't have sub zero in time for the guaranteed. Ends up getting hit. Oh, and Sento smacks Shag at the air. Aunt Kratos just armoring out of it. Mm, it's so close, it's so close. Just chip, just chip. And that's gonna do it. Arm Kratos winning the set, but it was so close, Mystics. That was insane. GG's indeed. What a set, you guys. What a card today. That was a beautiful showdown here at the end of today's stream. Arn Kratos and Maxiel, both of them playing out of their minds. But even generally speaking, Mystics, I have to say, we saw so many great players tonight, debut fights, and so on. I had an absolute blast. It's wild that our community is still going crazy here. Holly, Asta, thank you so much for the support. But unfortunately, our event has come to an end, Mystics. And I want to say thank you, Ooh. first of all, to every single one out there for watching, for spending time with us. And of course, Masiks, thanks you to you for the great commentary tonight.